What is happening? This is your boy, Glenn Lawrence, way too caffeinated right now. I'm joined <laughs> by my boy, Kuya P. What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got <laughs> Lloyd Lee, Asian <laughs> king <laughs> of comedy. What's going on? And yeah. we're back dot in the com. building. Yeah, dot com. I forgot the dot com. I apologize. Dot com. Uh, and we're back in the building. And yes. guess what? This week, we have our stuff, our shit together for this review of Raised by Wolves, episode six. <laughs> We're all on the same page. You hear that, Lloyd? We're all on the Lloyd? same episode. <laughs> I'm so gonna we're going to be able to pull it all together <laughs> and make it all make sense. First of all, uh, I really enjoyed this episode um, really? of, of Raised by Wolves. Numero I did. I, numero I, six. I, yeah, numero six, uh, Raised by Wolves. Um, what, was the, what was the name of this episode, though? What was the name of oh, six? Oh, shit. I just saw that a second ago. My Robot bad. I'll sex. pull it up. <laughs> really? <laughs> Robot sex and just, just explosion. Lost Paradise was the name of the uh, this episode. And as Lloyd I mentioned. Robot sex. Not, there, not, there was some more getting not, it on. Like last week, I got a little bit ahead of myself. And I was talking about the sex scene from this episode. And now y'all probably understand what I was talking about. Yes. How shit got wild. Wow. First of all, um, we'll, guts, some robot we'll just guts. jump to Kuya P because he's all about it. I can tell he's all excited. <laughs> what were your thoughts, initial thoughts on Lost Paradise episode six? Uh, Cause I literally just got done watching it. Literally. I had literally. to delay filming this until I got done. Uh, they, they really sped things up this episode. So uh, with uh, it being episode six, and I think you said there's 10 of these. So we have four more to go. Um, I'm curious where, what they're going to do with four more episodes since they did a lot in this one. Uh, father was, you know, spoilers, hashtag spoilers, fuck it, but that's, th this whole intent is for you to be watching this after you saw it, so you already should be spoiled. Uh, was surprised father got took taken out with four more episodes to go. Uh, again, taken out again, because he was killed. Oh yeah, all right, again. Into... Again. Um, I, I just, I, I want, uh, the, the, my highlight was a campion slapping the fuck out of, or was it campion? Yeah, hitting yeah. the fuck out of the other Aww. young boy. I was like, what the fuck, what the campion go on that motherfucker? <laughs> But uh, right. I, I, I just a lot that. of unanswered questions, but then some answered questions, but just uh, you, you know what I'm was, noticing. You know what I'm so noticing, though? I'm noticing a lot more hypeness in your review, a lot more <laughs> interest. <laughs> just because the last week, I feel like y'all are getting on board where I was. I will say, <laughs> I was up there this week, last week, but I will say from five to six, I, I, I came down a bit. Okay. I'm still slightly interested, but I'm back to where I was with Lloyd. Like, because this was still, while we got some an questions answered, I was like, uh, what the More fuck is questions. going on here? All like, right, so with that said, we'll move to Loy. What, would, what was your initial thoughts of Lost Paradise Episode 6 for Raised by Wolves? I'm, I'm going briskly through all of the stages of uh, mourning. <laughs> <laughs> like I just admit, I think I'm just an acceptance where I'm just like, well, I guess this is what we're doing for four more hours of my life. Uh, I'm no longer in denial. I'm no longer in bargaining. I'm no longer in whatever the other steps. Are. I'm just like, well, you sound like you're Tempest. Like you're just going to accept the baby. Like, fine. I don't like it, <laughs> but I'm going to let it come to term. For humanity, I will I will stick it out for four more episodes. Uh, again, I think that this episode should have been called uh, Robot Sex. I don't know why I didn't see this before. I don't know why I didn't see this coming before, where I was like, it's a robot. Obviously, they're going to have sex. Somebody is going to have sex with the robot at some point. And I just didn't think it was going to be a hologram having sex. Yeah. With and the, he with came all right. He well, came. Well, just to All give over. people a little bit oh. of uh, more introspective in what was happening in episode six, where we left off um, the Mithraic uh, um, leader, Marcus, and his boo thing. They had found the camp where mother and father were keeping the kids, and they were kind of spying on them, checking them out, seeing what was happening. Um, and then uh, during that period when they're kind of doing the spy reconnaissance, they figure out that mother's going to a certain spot and they, they kind of backtrack. They, they backtrack uh, to where she was going. I thought it was really interesting when they were looking in there and they were like, oh, we got to go kidnap these kids. And it's like, we're going to get Paul back. It's like, what are we going to tell him? It's like, just tell him the truth. And it's like, yeah, hey, Paul, we uh, killed your parents, but we kind of we really like you. So uh, <laughs> hey, we're way better parents than they were. Right. Right. <laughs> Right. I thought right. that was, I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. I did have a problem with mother always using the same like trail. I was like, that's poor operational security. Like, I feel like for an Android, she would yeah. have a much better, you know, bad like, opsec. Uh, bad opsec. 
terrible OPSEC. So what did you guys think of the beginning of the episode with uh, them camping out, trying to figure things out, and then figure out where Mother is going? I, I, I think, uh, okay, oh, sorry, I, I, I was going to skip ahead. Um, but at some point, you just have to cut your losses. You're like, you know what, let's just have new kids, because <laughs> going up against this murder robot seems like yeah. a horrible idea. Like, I don't want to get exploded for some kid that is kind of like, you know, I don't know. He could be cool, but we could probably make another one that'll be cooler. He's not the <laughs> coolest kid, especially since we didn't make him. Yeah, he's not even our kid. Like, <laughs> genetically, we're not even like attached to him. I mean, like, yeah. I kind of felt like if, I, if that was me, I'd be like, you know what? He looks safe. He looks good. Like, they're fine. <laughs> if the robots fail, we'll come and get them, but they look good. We'll just go and live just our like, lives. Just like every adopted kid. You're like, you know what? You know, when he gets old, gets that age, he can come find us. We're going to be the only people on the planet, so <laughs> we'll be hard to find. I'm with you, Loy. I, I feel like I would be super, super afraid uh, of that situation because at any moment she could just go full murder and you have no defenses. It's not like anyone's coming yeah. to your aid. You're just yeah. you're just evaporated. You're you're done. And, and you when she you know she was in the pod and uh, they try to attack her, you know, blindside yeah. her and she blowed everybody up. <laughs> I was like, uh, maybe you guys should work together because this is going to be a one-sided street, right. and I don't think you have a chance. A hundred percent. I'm kind uh, of that, that scene though when she she showed she brought up rocks though, and re remember when she went took everybody out on the 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 arc or whatever, mm -hmm. and she was just screaming at everybody. But this time she went try to I guess get a little bit more gangster with it by utilizing rocks to blow that shit up and make increased projectiles with that but it didn't seem to take a lot of people out though so i was kind of like I think, I think she was weakened she because was she was oh, she had just come out true? of the the uh yeah. virtual thing and then the, the light shit. thing so she was she was less power like uh less powerful you know that saying yeah. like i would whoop your ass in my sleep she yeah. literally <laughs> did that yeah she did that's she so did. true <laughs> but all right, so so that was cool. But the thing that got me, because look, I've been in a marriage before, and uh, there was infidelity, not on my part, on the other person's part, and I was just so surprised at how androids have the same patterns. Like the way I could tell is once she stops finding your jokes funny, you're probably being cheated on. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> wow, wow! Uh, realize Lord, I'm a you realize I'm a comedian, right? My wife never shows up to any of my shows. Hey, man, listen, listen. I'll I'll be there for you, Lloyd. Whatever happens. That got weird. We're your comedy wise, uh, bro. But what did you guys think of the infidelity and how and how mother just got cold to him? And it very much mirrors how a normal couple like they start losing love for each other. And she turned it on him. Like it's your fault. Like everything is your fault. You need to step. <laughs> hey, I get it. You're limited. You're processing power. Poquito. I get it. <laughs> I think it's so fucked up how they keep going in on his processing power. He's just like, I'm trying what? to do everything I can. Can I spend a little time with you? Let me and tell you a you joke. Happy. I'm trying to do everything and make you happy. Well, I'm an android. You don't. <laughs> I, I I don't experience happiness. And you're like, yeah, yeah. I can tell. <laughs> Wow. Uh, so, so many things happen in this episode. Another thing is uh, Mother tries to console uh, Tempest as she's, uh, you know, coming to terms with the fact that she's actually going to have this baby. And Tempest is like, listen, stop talking to me about the fucking baby. I'm going to have the baby because you will kill me otherwise. But don't make me try to like it. Mm. <laughs> what did y'all think about that? Yeah, I, yeah. My prediction is the guy in the helmet isn't the father. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to like, they're going to look at each other. And she goes, you rape me. And he goes, I don't know who you are. Like, he's, he's going like, to have that Thanos moment. Like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> yep. Yep. And he's like, you were the one. It's like, I, and he pulls out the list of people and it's not her. She isn't one of them. And it and then it becomes like, oh, it's the reincarnation of soul. You know, the Jesus Christ story. Yeah. yeah. I, I was thinking, well, in regards to the baby, because we have four episodes left. There, it, we, will that be like the resolution of the season? Will they like fast forward it? You know, to you know, will it fast forward like like a a, a year or two or get or you know, babies on a year or two it doesn't take two years to birth yeah, a baby. Just, <laughs> will it fast forward like nine months or something in <laughs> between the next? Don't few you episodes? have kids? Pat? Yeah, you're the only one with the kids. <laughs> hey, I was like, hold on. <laughs> to I'm the one who doesn't have kids. Like, I, I don't have kids either. Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? 
I think it's going to fast forward or something. Because what else are you going to do in these next four episodes? You know? I don't know, but it's not enough. I'm going to tell you, whatever they can do in the next four episodes is not going to be enough for me. I am so, begrudgingly. So you don't think it's creepy that they're all seeing the ghost of Talia and she's like drawing like symbols on the wall like like I saw you yeah. kissing in the android space. <laughs> Virtual reality. That's the other thing which, again, like you, like we were talking earlier, I was off of it, came back on, but now I'm coming off again. Like, what the fuck? So, uh, yeah. You have me with this creator wants to have robo sex, and then with this that's but it's a fucking robot, and then you have this literally kid that is supposed to be dead <laughs> and is being seen by everybody and their mother as well as mother. Uh, what the fuck is going on, Glenn? Uh, Westworld. Listen, uh, I, I blame you. I I like it. Um, because it's a mystery and I feel like things are slowly starting to come together. I think a big piece was going into the pod and seeing the creator and his story and like, and like finding out that she really had feelings for him and, uh, kind of how far advanced we've come in our technology. If your suspension of disbelief is that strong, it's like, oh, we've really come far into That's programming. what everybody that has, has sex with a doll or a robot wants. They think they're like, oh, the robot loves me too. It doesn't. <laughs> Does but it. in this case, it's the human who programmed me love me too. Yeah, that's that's levels of that. That's why that's why we shouldn't be programming these robots. <laughs> all right, so so all right, then the the episode goes uh, deeper. They uh, are they uh, go in and they uh, ambush. Pause. What's that? She they you they said deeper, so I said pause. Yeah, right. They uh, ambush mother. They they uh, meaning a porn uh, porn hub. They uh they, docking. They they uh end up almost getting fucking handled by her, but um eventually they're they're able to subdue her. What y'all think about that? Uh poorly designed. Uh man's greatest weapon, uh the strength there is, is in her eyes, uh the horrible, horrible design. Mm. But I thought it was I thought it was cool that they 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 actually figured out a way to disarm. I, what I did think was interesting that they didn't immediately destroy her because it's like yeah, this, this this robot's murderous. But I guess they're gonna try to repurpose. Hey, wait, let me, let's let, let's hope that she doesn't just find her eyes and then destroy mankind, literally mankind. And the dude just happened to have problems with the bomb part because he was like, uh, tell him, hit the you know blow her up, blow her up, and yeah, you, okay, you knew there was something was gonna happen there. Like, and yeah. his hands, like, his hand got blowed up. Yeah. Oh, months. and then his hands get, yeah, like pop, just pop. <laughs> it's just like um, pop potato. Up. All right. So I, um, I, I so, will be very upset. I, let me say this. Let me be very, very clear. I'll be very, very upset if there is a time lapse thing going on. Like this is the seventh time that they've done it, and it's like they just keep on doing it over and over again. I will be furious. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think, I don't know, it'll be weird. One thing that I thought was weird was uh, how, like, uh, Marcus was, like, playing around with her right before they, like, captured her. I was like, yo, this, she could wake up at any moment. What the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> like yeah. get your kill in and then and get out. Anyway, so uh, uh, a lot happened there um, with this episode. She ends up, um, you know, getting, uh, what you call it, uh, 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 chopped in the chest with the axe or whatever, and they capture. Her. Um, and so we're gonna we're gonna figure out we're gonna figure out what happens. Um, are, from... we <laughs> are we though? Are we though? I thought I thought the ending was gonna be when Marcus was like, "Oh no, my girl's over by you know the camp," and you know, and and mother was heading back. I thought the the girl his girl was gonna get killed, you know, uh, from the comeback from mm -hmm. with mother, and but instead we got. All the firepower going on and father dying, and then the final there, ending. There, I was like, "Oh, there, okay." There's, there's just too much death for like the last dozen and a half people to ever exist in humanity. There's just too much death going on. I think this is a horrible idea overall, poorly executed. <laughs> mm. Okay. All and then right. the one guy survived. I'm like, why yeah. didn't the scream kill? You know, at the right after the, they I'm finally took out father, like. The Did they ever survived? figure out what the what the the power set is? Because she could just psionically sci explode people yeah. and like grab things. I don't know. That's I, that, I that is kind of weird. Choose I her screen. But yeah, I, like I can't it. tell if she's Magneto or she's a Jedi. I haven't figured out which one it is. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit of both. Yeah. It's yeah. a little bit of both. So she makes her way all all the way back to camp or whatever, and then uh, the camp gets. 
gets raided. They ended up, uh, they, like I said, they ended up uh, chopping her, uh, chopping her down or whatever, and 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 I guess regaining everybody and and taking over the camp. Um, that's kind of how how the shit ends. Uh, yeah. Would you guys? What do you guys give? What's the grade for this episode? <laughs> but out of relative, I'd say that this is probably the best episode out of all horrible episodes that they've had. Okay. I feel like slowly but surely at the end of the season, you're going to be like, it was okay. <laughs> like it's, it's going from, I hate it to it's okay. At this point, I think I'm just going to die on this hill. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Cool. Yeah. P what about you? What did you think? What did you say, say for this episode? <sighs> You have you you were but while in, while you guys were both going back and forth, I was trying to think of all the episodes. Which ones did I like the most? Uh, episode one was the best. You know, I was I was okay with the first episode, but then it kind of went all downhill from there. Since the episode one, then I would say, yeah, this last episode it kind of you know moved things a lot forward along since that first episode. So uh, I'm right there with Lloyd, but I wouldn't say <laughs> I'd say like right in between. I'm still gonna check out. The, the rest of the season. Come see, come saw. Come see, come uh, saw. <laughs> y'all are funny. And for me, your boy, I enjoy it. I think it's I think it's very, very interesting, very entertaining. And I like the sci-fi of it. I like, you know, the interfacing. Um, I think it's kind of cool to create, like... Yeah, you the like creator that created something. Right. Yeah. Is, that, is that what you call robot sex? <laughs> <That> <laughs> and the robot sex scene was very cool. That's what I imagine virtual reality scene. Like, you could lift a bitch it's off the ground. Though. I will give you like, that. That's what that Roger Troutman and Zap thought was like computer love. <laughs> computer. <laughs> That's what they oh. should have played for the, yeah, for yeah. the scene. interfacing. <laughs> or the uh, was the Fifty That's Cent and Justin Timberlake saying, Timberlake's, hey, yeah. <laughs> "Ayo, technology." <laughs> I'm trying to use a technology. We gotta re-edit that that sex scene with computer love. I, I yeah. see it now. I think I might <laughs> do that. Love. That might be dope. Be dope. <laughs> All right, so. So we got a, eh, eh, and a yay for, for this season, uh, episode six, uh, yes. so far. <laughs> I tell, us what you, tell us what you guys thought in the comments below. Yeah. And subscribe. also, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications so you, you can always get notified when we're doing something new. Because uh, we love bringing you this content, but we can't bring it to you if you don't tell us that you like it. And if you don't tell us that you want to be notified when it happens. We tell me how much, it anyway, though. Tell we me how it. much you hate this series that you hate it more than I do. Then we can be friends. <laughs> yeah. So uh, once again, tell them, Loy Lee, where they can find you, sir. Uh, Loy Lee Comedy across all of your social media networks. L O Y L E E Comedy. My comedy album is fresh, uh, free on YouTube it's called Asian Privilege. You can find that youtube.com slash Loy Lee Comedy. Ooh. Asian Privilege. Love it. And you know, you know, Pete, go ahead, hit us with it, with your stuff. Uh, my my personals sign. are uh, at Temple Far East and at Strange since 1977. However, you can find me uh, at the Nerds of Color at NRW at New Release Wednesday, and of course my new show, the Show Pal Show. Uh, we have we have a Twitter and we have an IG now, which is at Show Pal Show. So check us out, follow us, there subscribe, we go. all of that. And me, Glenn Lawrence Comedy, Level Up Comedy. You can find me on all your socials and the YouTubes. Um, this has been fun. I've enjoyed it, trying to get you guys to still like this show. By the end of the show, I think you're going to like it. By the end of the show, you're going to like it. Keep all right, it alive. Yeah. And on that note, we are out. Thanks for joining us. Uh, please join us again next week. Well, we will go over episode seven. Of it's Ray already Bible. out. When you're watching this, it's already out. It's yeah. already out, but we're yeah. going to go over it so you know what you just watched. Anyways, yes. this has been the Nerds of Color. Nerds rule the world. We're out. Deuces.
Mamas to cool prima donna. 